But welcome to worship at Covenant Presbyterian Church on this glorious day that the Lord has made as we celebrate the resurrection of Christ who calls all to him and who turns no one away. This is the second Sunday of Easter and our liturgists are Dave and Liz Liu and our music is provided by Greg Jacobs, our music director. I would like to invite you to our Zoom fellowship hour on Wednesday at 11 a.m. And we visit each other and catch up on what's going on in our lives and our families. On Tuesday, you'll receive an email that will give you directions on how you can join in. I hope to see you there. I would also encourage you to download the prayers of the people and print them out and post them on your refrigerator or someplace around your house so you can keep these people in your thoughts and in your prayers all week long. Next Sunday at 11 a.m., we will have our annual congregational meeting in the parking lot, sort of a drive-in meeting. We will elect new session members and deacons, and we will also finalize the transfer of the property to the Presbytery, which we voted on last year. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. I look forward to seeing you there. And as we say every Sunday, may the Spirit center us in God's love, enlighten us, and give us courage, wisdom, and joy. And now please join me in the responsive call to worship. At the beginning of the day, at the beginning of the week, the faithful yet fearful people gathered together. It was then that the Spirit of God came among them and whispered, Peace be with you. Their hearts skipped a beat as they double-checked that the lock on the door was still latched. So the presence of God spoke a little louder. Peace be with you. They looked around at each other, puzzled, amazed, befuddled, bewildered. Some smiled, some doubted, some wondered if it were just too magical sounding or too good to be true. So Christ showed them his scars. and They were not the end of the story. That is when the words of God began to feel joyous. Peace be with you. From that day on, the people of God repeated those words to one another when they gathered. From one generation to the next, they exchanged the words as a greeting to one another to remember that holy interruption to fear. Peace be with you. Let us pray. God of grace and peace, in Jesus Christ, we stand among us as a sign of healing, hope, and joy. In a fearful, wounded world, fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we may have faith and life through Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Amen. 